Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to the Afternoon Daily Recap. I'm again Sammy Saeed here, the T3 Live Sales Manager, filling in for Scott Redler. Uh, and Scott did assure me he will be here tomorrow morning. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Uh, obviously, crude oil again, uh, dominating the headlines. It did have a sharp rally earlier this morning. Uh, it was a little bit unexpected because our International Energy uh, Agency uh, was a little bit bore, uh, bearish in their particular forecast going forward. They're saying that by 2017, we'll see the supply and demand for oil kind of align with each other. Uh, however, investors have been a little bit more bullish in that particular sentiment. Um, with the, uh, the news from both Russia and Saudi Arabia's recent agreement uh, to actually cull back or freeze output at January levels, uh, it seemed to be a, a step to the first you know, global supply uh, particular problem that we've run into. So it's a step in the right direction in that particular way. Um, over the weekend, the Russia Energy Prime Minister, or the, Russia, the Russian Energy Minister, Alexander Novak, said Iran was constructive in their agreement here. However, Iran hasn't particularly committed to the pact itself. Uh, energy stocks were among the day's top performers here today. Uh, the S&P Energy Select Spider XLE, we'll take a look at the chart here. Uh, XLE rose about 2.4% today, uh, while the market vectors oil service ETF OIH did even better at about 3.3%. Um, Energy Master Limited Partnerships, Kinder Morgan also posted some solid gains today, uh, up about 3% on the day, uh, while also we have ETP, Energy Transfer Partners, up about 6.7%. Um, overnight, the market composite PMI numbers for France, Germany, and the Eurozone, they were all below expectations, uh, which had traders once again thinking about an expanded stimulus in the Eurozone. Um, the recent ECB events, uh, including President Mario Draghi's comments, uh, saying that it was clear to him that the bank does stand ready uh, for some more stimulus they need the ECB to come in and produce a little bit more growth. At least that's what's the sentiment coming out of, out of the Eurozone. Uh, just this afternoon, the Bank of Finland also in agreement said the ECB needs to do some more growth and the monetary policy will be reviewed in this March's coming meeting. Uh, in the U.S. market, of course, the S&P 500 opened strong and bullish. Uh, it acted again on the crude oil indicator that we've been talking about here in the, in the, in the last several days. It also uh, was ignited from a European rally to inequities over the last couple of days here as well, or over the, over the weekend, uh, overnight. Uh, unusually, uh, despite the 2% the drop in gold prices, GDX, let's take a look at the chart here, uh, it actually finished up, uh, oops, sorry, let's take a look here at the chart. It actually finished up almost a percent uh, higher on the day. Uh, the S&P hit its intraday high of 1946.7 in, in the afternoon, just shy of widely watched 1951.6 moving average. Um, from there, as crude oil ticked lower into the close, the index followed a long finishing, uh, you know, a little bit there flat on the day. Uh, counting from today's intraday top, the S&P had just rallied 7.5% from the February 11 low of 1810. So therefore, traders may have viewed today um, as a today's rally as a, a strong excuse to take some profits uh, in the U.S. S&P, Case Shiller Home and Data Prices, Consumer Confidence, Richmond Fed, uh, and existing home sales data will be out tomorrow. Uh, earnings before the open tomorrow's Angie's List, Dollar Tree, Home Depot, Macy's, and Toll Brothers, among some other names. You also have Avis, Budget Car, Dry Ships. They report after the close. Uh, overseas, the German. IFO business climate uh, report will be discussed tomorrow. So those are some of your headlines and some of the news indicators that will be going in for tomorrow's trading day. Uh, folks, thanks again for joining me for the afternoon recap. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I really enjoyed doing this series. I hope you see me again soon. But again, we do expect Scott Reller to be back tomorrow morning, and I want to thank you all again for, uh, for supporting it. Uh, we'll see you in the morning at the morning call. Have a great evening.